Hello everyone, welcome to another wet hair vlogmas. Sorry, I just can't put this dry in my hair. I have with me this very battered old suitcase. I've got it with me because I am in the process of packing up a lot of my stuff and moving. And this is my stagey suitcase. Yeah, that's right. I've got so much stagey stuff. I have to live in a suitcase. <laughs> so I thought it'd be quite fun to show you guys it today. I've tried to be a bit organised with it. Um, most things are in like uh, tote bags or pockets and things like that. So I think this is my Broadway stuff. I did actually do a haul when I came back from New York of Broadway stuff, but this is my Les Miserables tote bag. I really like the um, the marketing of there and all the artwork they have on Broadway. It's amazing. Let's just go through some things, shall we? This is a little Lion King on one side, it's not gonna focus. And Wicked on the other side. Um, I think it's a map. Yeah. So we got the little Rachel Tucker up there. And it's a little map of London. Practical and cute. These are from a musical that I didn't mention in my all, all, all my shows I've seen. I stupidly forgot about it, which is embarrassing because it's such a good show. It's called Lift, it was at the Soho Theatre. So um, we've got Nikki Davis Jones, if it's gonna focus. Yeah, awesome. Cynthia Arrivo, who's currently on Broadway. That's like all of them there. Good times, that was such a good show. My favorite ghost musical, man, so good. A little fringe show from the Union Theatre. Did anyone watch Hairspray Live? I watched a bit of it and then my stream was cutting out, but what were your thoughts on it? Uh, this is just a tour, like a pamphlet from Milton Keynes Theatre. So that's when obviously uh, the Wicked tour first one was going on. That's another one, but just with uh, Rachel on instead. And Miss Saigon, when it came back to the West End. Oh. Singing in the rain when it was on tour. I saw this on my 20th birthday. I realised the other day I have not seen Kinky Boots in like well over a year. I need to rectify this and go in the new year. A friend very kindly got me this from New York. I'm so gutted I didn't get to see the last year. But I hope it does something in the UK. But it is signed by Rich Tucker. Oh, it's actually signed to me. I forgot about that. It's not focusing. Thanks, Rachel. What else have we got? This was a little show at the St. James Studio. It was like Alice in Wonderland type stuff. It was like they do these like lunchtime shows slash stuff, which is quite fun. Can't see it once. It's my favourite. This is a. It's not the film. I think it's like a sort of behind the scenesy type thing. Oh God. Maybe it's the soundtrack. For promotional purposes only. So I think it's just got like promo bits of the show. It was when they did their like Spotify sessions. Um, Les Mis in London. In the Heights. Uh, I'm not gonna sing the rest of it, but yeah. In the Heights, Kings Rock Theatre. Closing soon, and actually the theatre's going in the, in 2017. So if you wanna go see In the Heights slash the Railway Children, you should do that soon. Gypsy, where I finally got to see Amelda Staunton on stage. I mean, there's a DVD of it, you can go and watch it. This was a program for a, um, so the Tristan Bates Theatre, and they, it's like a selection of shows that are like in development and stuff. So it's the, yeah, from page to stage season, or it's kind of like workshops or semi, um, semi finalised shows, I guess very interesting I think if you're into London and into fringe shows I'd recommend it. Playbills. Okay so we have Les Mis. We have Chicago which I did not enjoy. Finding Neverland which I loved. I cannot wait for this to come to London. Obviously we have Wicked. It looks like their design looks so old. Oh, look how trash this playbill is. Is it going to focus for a bit of that? Yeah, you can see how bad it is. I think I spilled a drink in my bag or something. And ironically, the one that I've got the most playbills of is the one that I didn't enjoy. Stupid. 
this I believe is the pro yeah the program from when I went to see once in Dublin. That was so good. The gorgeous finding Neverland program. It's a shame I don't really because I've moved so much in the last few years like all my stuff is just ruined. So this program is very beaten up. I mean like just the like quality of it and it's huge. Oh, so good. Oh. I swear they're never gonna actually tell us when it's coming to London, is it? But hopefully mid next year, that's what I'm guessing. Now I have to put all of this back. Oi, oi, oi. Uh, we've got these that I got from New York when I went to see stuff on Broadway. So it's the Limzar uh, cup, sippy cup. I love that they do these. They've started to become more of a thing. I mean, look how cool it is. Oh, it's so cool. Um, these have started to become a bit more of a thing in London, but these are like at every show in New York, I swear. And they are not in London yet. Something in this? What have I left in this? Oh! This I got when I went to... once. I forgot about this. Um, so it's a little shot glass. So, yeah, so you can see it says once. And then on the back... Oi, come on. It's got some nice song lyrics. What does it actually say? I'm gonna be me, I'm gonna be free. I'll tell you what, if I was gonna get another tattoo, it would probably be of one's lyrics. Oh my goodness. There we go. We can see it now. Oh, so nice. Oh, I can't believe I forgot about this. Once was actually one of the only shows in London that started off doing their like own sippy cups and you could go on stage to buy your drink. And then I think, I think it was the same price to get a cup or maybe a bit extra i don't know this is one that obviously got in new york when i saw wicked so then it says on the back so which happened before dorothy dropped in and in these i can't remember when i got these but there's some like wicked bubbles yeah i can't remember where i got these but there's obviously a pink one as well so Pink is good with green. Yeah, I mean, that's just not focusing, but yeah. Oh my God, I've just twigged as to why they did bubbles. We can't all come and go by bubble. Duh. How did it take me that long to realize that? These are some little pouches that I got from Paper Chase. Um, they're super cheap and I just use them to store my tickets in. Um, I think some of these are in order, like of years. I've definitely not been as organized this year, but I believe this is I mean, that looks like 2015, but you can see a nice little Matilda ticket in the front there. So yeah, they're just super handy. Oh my god, there's an Instax photo in there as well. I have so many Instax photos, it's unreal. <gasps> of course, of course it's a Wicked. Like, it wouldn't be of anything else, surely. This, I believe... <clears throat> I was about to say, I think it's my Wicked tote bag, and of course it's my Wicked tote bag. So I am... Um, I entered the uh, Wicked Young Writers Awards years back, literally like 2013. And they gave us this bag and it had the booklet of all the shorts and stories and stuff like that in it. This is another thing of tickets and stuff. It's just loads and loads of stuff. And there's also a... Um, a uh, a wicked mouse mask. Literally, I'm such a fangirl. I'm pretty sure that's what I uh, got as part of my like winners booklet thing package. Oh my goodness! What else is in here? They they used to do. I don't know if they do them anymore. But these little like oyster card holders. I used to have quite a lot of these actually. I don't really have any anymore. This is obviously one that I kept like pristine. That was definitely one I battered. Or was that this one? Yeah, this one. I went to see a show called Eurotown in the St. James Theatre and also at the Apollo Theatre. And there was a scene where loads of money would come into the audience. So this like kind of looks like a legit bill. I'm trying to get it to focus. Is it gonna focus? Uh, no. Oh, for goodness sake there we go and you might be able to see it says like in Cladwell we trust is it Cladwell 
Yeah, in Cloudwell we trust. Yeah, there you go. But that was quite a funny little uh, memento to have. I feel like the white balance has just changed for the better on this camera. Actually, oh my goodness, this is another Oyster card holder they used to do at Wicked. Um, yeah. So this is obviously a bit sturdier. This is a whole um, little plastic wallet of standby slips. Let me just get them out. So we had um, Christopher Howell when he was the wizard for a summer. Hayley Gallivan, one of my favourite alphabets. Oh my goodness, she was so good. Nikki Davis Jones, back when she was uh, standby. Chloe Taylor, also standby. Oh, this is a, a gig that they did at the St. James Theatre. It was like a charity thing. So I bought one of the posters. And then we have Sophie Linda Lee and Bud Chris Powell. So yeah, shows how much I used to go see the show. So these are a few of my favorite programs. Like I try not to keep as many anymore. So this is from when I first went to go see it. This has Rachel, Gina um, and Matt Willis. So yeah, that's the first Wicked cast that I went to see. You can see it a bit there. There's Gina. There's Rachel gone. Oh no, where's she gone? There she is. Do, 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 do. Uh, this was the cast after them with Louise and Gina. So there is Louise of Elphaba. Oh, this is another Rachel and Gina one. That might be signed. My only exception is if like they're signed and then I also have like a clean copy. Yeah, so that one is, as you can see, partially signed. This is the souvenir brochure from on tour. Oops. So there's some lovely photos of Nikki and Emily Tierney. So this was when I saw it in Milton Keynes. These are great photos. They're so good. That would be my dream, like to do photo or video stuff just in theatre in general. If anyone wants to hire me, please, that would be lovely, thanks. Something I need to add to the Wicked selection of stuff um, is the 10th anniversary celebratory programme, which I meant to show you in my 10th birthday vlog, but, well not my 10th birthday, but the show's 10th birthday, um, and I just didn't get around to it. It's obviously not a normal programme, it's kind of, I love this bit, so it kind of takes you through who the London Alphabas have been. So obviously got Adina, Kerry, Alexia and Rachel, and then Louise, Willemine, who's coming back, um, Jennifer, did you know her? Did you know her? All right, I'm not Emma Ninja. Um, Emma Hatton there, and then just like loads of beautiful photos. Um, and then the glinders. You see all the glinders? Why do the glinders get like night? Like, why do they get double photos on some of them? Did the alphabets have that? They didn't have that. That's. Wow. That's favouritism. To the glinders. Oh, actually, no, it's because they're smaller versions. Okay, I forget. Ancestor. Costumes. The arrows. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they ran out of pages, I guess. I've touched this. I've touched the bubble dress. Like, not even just at the YouTube space. I touched it backstage. That could be a story for a time. Do you guys want to hear about the time I went backstage at Wicked? I could tell you all about that. I'm kind of gutted they don't mention any of the standbys and stuff in this. Pretty sure they don't. I feel bad now if they actually have, but I'm pretty sure they haven't. Um, because standbys are so important to a show and like helping to run it so it kind of feels like a bit of a kick in the teeth for the standbys that they've not not mentioned them because they could have just had a massive page of even just small print mm -hmm. of saying thank you to everyone who has helped keep this production going but that's my little bug bag <laughs> this is so huge so this is another pouch of programs I mean, this is already at 20 minutes filming time. Do we really want to go through this? Basically, it's a lot of fringe shows. Dogfight, that was at the Southwark Playhouse. That was so good. Jasper Al, mm, it was okay. It had Gina back in it, so that was good. You're in town at the Apollo Theatre. 
not as good as the St. James version, but I'm glad it got the like West End transfer it deserved. Lift, we've already spoken about it. Loserville, this was so good. Like, I wish I could see this again. The Light Princess at the National Theatre, this production was beautiful. Another Wicked playbill, signed by someone. Who is that? From seeing Wicked in Liverpool. Does that have any photos? No. Mojo, a play. It had Rupert Grint in it, aka Ron Weasley. The Book of Mormon, from the first time I saw it a few years ago. It's the Book of Mormon. It's hilarious. This is depressing, but this is the last show that I saw with my mother before she died. <laughs> You're in town at the St. James Theatre. The better production. A chorus line at the Palladium. I did enjoy it. Sorry, Sean, but I didn't love it. <laughs> a random copy of The Lion King. Oh, Sam, I'm really sorry. This program is so messed up. Like, I, I, it's, it's bent, I'm sorry. Billy Elliot, this was great. I'm exhausted. Are you exhausted? This is the last bag, thank God. Very appropriately, it says so stagey. Cause I'm stagey. Get it, this is so heavy. <sighs> You can get these bags from West End Wilmoth. Oh, I know why it's so heavy. It's because it's like got the um, the, the nice souvenir brochures. This is from Once, which is really nice because it's actually kind of like a music book. You know what I mean? With the whole landscapey thing going on. I really like it. Big old version of Matilda's book. This would be from like 2000 and... 2013. This is a long old time ago. Oh no, no, this would be a newer one. I lie. It's from like 2014. Song for a New World at the St. James Theatre. This had Cynthia Erivo and uh, Dean John Wilson and Jenna Russell and somebody else in. And it was very good. Here are some production photos. It was very good. I actually have a, there was a Q&A that happened at that performance and I filmed it. I don't think I ever uploaded it. Is that something you'd like to see? If so, I'll make the video unlisted and post it. Let me know. This is Oliver that I saw at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield because Hayley Gallivan was in it and she was so bloody good. Les Miserables. Rent, the 20th anniversary concert that I saw in, I can't remember where it was. Why do I have two? This one's different. Maybe this is original cast that I saw and then the other one was a newer cast. That probably is why. We will rock you. I went to see the final performance of this in the West End and it was like one of the most incredible experiences ever. The Phantom of the Opera. I don't really like this program to be fair, it's not... I guess it's not the full brochure so it's probably like, but I don't know, not a fan. This is my certificate from the Wicked Young Rector's Award just to prove to you that I'm not lying. Another show that I didn't mention in my all the shows I've seen video because I forgot about it, and it's probably because I didn't like it that much. Sorry. Another Matilda one. A big glorious ghost the musical program. This was when it was in the West End. Um, oh, is there a little slip to say it was Rebecca Trahan? Yeah, oh, look at that. Oh, and I saw Callum Francis as the subway ghost. I think I do remember that. And now he's in what? Australia? Playing Lona in Kinky Boots? You did well! Does anyone want some once programs? Oh, and another ghost one. Why do I have another ghost one? Who was in this? Was this? Oh, this was the tour. This was the best ghost tour. Like, don't go to the new one. I'm just kidding, like, you can go if you want, but that was the best ghost tour. Ooh. City of Angels at the Dolma Warehouse. Another show that Rebecca Chan was in. Another Matilda. Oh god, I need to calm down. Evita. Last but not least, a big glorious singing in the rain poster. Poster? Uh, program. Oh my god. I need to stop. <sighs> wow, that was exhausting. I've got one more thing I want to show you. These were given to us at the Wicked 10 performance. They were literally left underneath everyone's seats, I think. And I never actually looked at it to see what it is. I guess it's just the promotional poster. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. So it's just like the uh, the front of the program. But it's a poster. But that's nice. I wasn't expecting them to give any free stuff out. Okay, that's been a really long video. I'm not looking forward to editing this. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Tell me what stagey stuff that you have. I hope for your sake you don't have as much as I do because this is a lot to lug around. 
and I gotta do it for the rest of my life now. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.